Hi everyone, Raquel here from Scrap Cozy. Today's card is a bit special. I've donated it and it is part of an auction that will be helping people from Ukraine. The auction is happening on the Instagram account Ukraine Card Drive. And if you want to get it, you just have today and tomorrow, 17th and 18th of April 2022, to bid. You can read the instructions in this post and then you need to search for the card that you want. There are other artists contributing to this, so just choose your favorite card. Once you find the card that you want, you need to write a comment with a higher amount or that you see. So you need to tag the previous person that made the highest bid. And once the auction is over, the winner should choose a charity from those in the selected list. And once they contribute to the charity and the confirmation of the payment is communicated, I will ship this to the winner. This card's current bid is at 25 US dollars. But as I said, there are other artists sharing their cards here. So just go to Ukraine card drive and select the one that you like the most. If by the time that you see this video, the auction has finished, you have other ways to help people from Ukraine. One of them is by buying my coloring book. All the royalties I earn from this book for all March and until end of April will be donated to a charity. I still need to decide which one. You can post in your comments which charity you would choose. In general, the book has one main image to color on the right and then a background image on the left. But other pages will have multiple images for you to color. I actually created this book from my grandma because she loves to color. You can find the book in Amazon. Just search for a Scrap Cozy and make sure you select the right cover. You can see a preview in Amazon.co.uk but also of course you can see the flip through that I just showed you to see how the pages look. So now let's start and I'll show you how I created this cappuccino cup. Enjoy it! I selected the three coffee beans from ESC27 stamp set and I used Versafine Clear, which is waterproof ink, and I stamped a pattern, a repeated pattern. You just need to pay attention how the shape of the pattern, I mean of the um, stamp, and then you'll know where to stamp the different um, coffee beans to create this pattern. Now I'm mixing infusions, Rocky Road and Golden Sands, so it's like a brown and a yellow. And then I'm mixing this with satin glaze, which is like a varnish. You could use some sort of glue diluted in water if you wanted that. And I've basically made a translucent paint, which I'll use now to color all those coffee beans. And this will kind of protect those beans and will preserve that sort of um, color and tone once I add more infusions on top. So it's doing like a resist. Now I'm adding those two infusion colors on top directly onto the card and then i'm going to spread some water so then well all the colors will be there and then i use a brush to kind of um yeah paint all over and i mixed even more infusions with more water and with another brush i'm adding even a deeper tone on top of that and then i'm drying in between layers and then i'm adding more and more <laughs> infusions there. He, this one I'm using a splatter brush just to create some splatters and drying again. So I will keep on dipping and adding a bit more until I actually like the look and then I will definitely dry it and that will be my base for the card. At this point the paper had a very nice texture but it was a bit wet kind of and a bit well not very flat so I decided to pass it through the laminator to kind of finishing the heating and also to flatten it out. I didn't achieve too much of a change but well I prefer to work on that like this but you could totally skip that process. And now I'm adding some distress ink to age the edges and add even a bit more shadow to the card and I think that gives a very nice texture. Then I spread some water because as you may know uh, distress ink um, react with water and then my background is ready. So I'm going to stamp again with Versafine ink um, the cup, the cappuccino cup, and I'm going to use some embossing powder. This is one from my trio of embossing powders which is called uh, Luxor's Chocolate. Now we'll, it will also be available without the trio so you will be able to purchase this only powder if you want. These are from Wow Embossing Powder and is a mix of um, brown and gold combined and it gives a very nice shine. So I'm going to repeat the process of stamping other elements on, on card paper and I will fuzzy cut them and I will add them to the card. So basically um, my aim here is to create a lot of um, dimension and texture. So I will be uh, paper piercing and mounting on 3D foams and everything 
and you well you will see that now I'm mixing some infusions again golden sands which is a yellowish one and then I'm adding more water more diluted water so different shades of that uh, yellow and I will be coloring the different images because I will just cut them apart to create my different elements um, they will be kind of arranged in a different um, format so you will see things standing out things underneath and so on and so forth so from there I'm just picking the spoon so I'm making sure that everything is dry and then it's time for cutting absolutely everything and I will give the things some sort of shape with my fingers and I will make sure that everything is kind of done on that um, cup I'm just removing the actual foam on the top from that cappuccino mug because well I want the cup to be kind of in 3d and I want the coffee to be resist so a bit in the background and then I can see that it's kind of inside so that would look very nice as you will see in the pictures later on and from here I just need yeah to trim away some of them uh, now the two pastries I think I will use only one of these and then I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the actual saucer or or the little plate and then I'm going to bend and um, yeah um, a little bit the cup and I'm going to add some inking on the edges of all the little pieces so then I don't see whites and then I also add some sort of shadow and more dimension and then I will be starting to mount all these with foam adhesive bending a little bit more this adds a lot of dimensions believe it or not so uh, just working it with your fingers and kind of making it a bit more well in a different shape so it's not flat it will really add dimension and then some foam on the back of the different elements and you will see that the cup will stand up and stand out a lot and my coffee will seem that it's inside and then the same with the spoon I'm adding some more foam I want it really in 3d and then the actual cup as well I will attach some parts with foam adhesive and some parts with um, flat the tape <laughs> double-sided tape and then that will be mounted there so then it's really in 3d and then that will be like my bi basic element and now that the focal point is done then I'll add some attrezzo to it so basically just a pastry there which I'm again bending with my fingers there are some tools that you could also use to kind of make a 3d um, element in paper but I'm just choosing my fingers on this one <laughs> And then again I'm, I'm attaching this with some foam adhesive and then I'll add now the background so the background of this is going to be in a dark color I'm using French roast which is a fresco finish acrylic paint it's a semi opaque so I will need to add two layers to it and then here I wanted to kind of uh, use the embossing powder again because I like to kind of add the elements well you know um, in two different parts of the project so then everything seems more coordinated so I thought okay I'll add some of this powder on the edges and then it will be sparkly and it will look nice and I think it did but for me I don't know at this point I wanted more like a more uh, muted tone card and then you will see that once I kind of put it on top well for me it was a bit um, too shiny too sparkly so then instead of adding this gold to the card I will well knock it down with more paint so it will just be uh, granules that I mean you can see on the back but then I'll add so I'll, I'm painting that there because I didn't like this look very very much and then instead of adding the gold in this way I will add the gold in a different way so I'm adding with multi matte medium those uh, little corners which are like brass elements on each um, of the of the corners of the card and I think this way I like it better I don't know <laughs> maybe maybe you like the other one a bit more because then it's more shiny but I think with this finish is is nicer but I like it more and I think that's it I mean uh, the card doesn't need anything else um, just make sure that if you use um, this matte medium to attach these sort of elements you make sure you put a lot so here are some pictures of the finished card I hope you like it it's really full of dimension and then if you want to add a little extra element to this like real coffee beans somehow uh, you can use my stencil the one that I paired with this stamp set and then using Q 
quick cure clay, you can create your own uh, coffee beans and then basically place them on top if you like. So that was all for today. I hope you like it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. And also remember that there is this bid auction that you can still participate on or even you can buy my coloring book if you want to support um, Ukraine. Okay, thanks very much for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.